I've been working on this old 73 charger that didn't run when I dragged it into my garage. And it now runs, but the battery's not charging. So what could it be? The alternator or the regulator or the wiring or all three? Well, it turns out a lot of it was wiring, but the culprit was the voltage regulator was bad. And how I determined that was by going to the manual and looking at what the regulator's doing. The blue wire is looking at ignition on voltage. And it's, it's looking at that voltage in relationship to battery negative. And it gets that battery negative through the connection between the regulator case and the bolts to the firewall. That's why it's very important the regulator has a good, solid connection to the firewall. That's battery negative. The green wire, if you'll follow it down, it goes into the other side of the field of the alternator. Now what the regulator is doing is looking at voltage on the ignition circuit and then adjusting the output on the green wire in relation to ground. So the more ground it puts on the green wire, which would be lower resistance, the alternator output will increase. So an easy test is to unplug the regulator, ground the green wire, and then check your battery voltage with the car running. And you should get maximum output out of the alternator. That's full field, maximum output. 15, 16 volts, which I did when I disconnected the regulator and grounded the green wire. Now that'll get you out of a pinch, but it'll also burn up your battery. So you can't leave it that way. You must replace the regulator. But just for shits and giggles, let's put a resistor across the blue and green wires of the regulator which is what I have here. It's basically a light bulb. The light bulb measures about an ohm, one ohm. So that should be enough to excite the field of the alternator. So let's see what happens. What's battery voltage right now? 13.06. I've got the battery tender on it. We'll take that off. 13.03, it's coming down. Let's start the car. Well, 12.5. Now, Chryslers are notorious for low charging current at idle. Let's raise the idle. output of the alternator. At idle, I'm getting about 12.8. Raise the idle. And I hit the 13, 14. I could live with that. Oh, look at the light bulb. This is neat. The light bulb is lit. So you wonder, is it actually doing anything? Let's disconnect it. Connect the light bulb. See the wires hanging off now, not connected. Get it tucked away here. Now we'll rev the engine. Twelve point four. There's no regulation, there's nothing exciting the alternator field, you're not getting any output out of it. 
I can do it with one hand, we'll reconnect the light bulb. Let me set the phone down. There we go, light bulb is reconnected. And now we have a little bit of field current, enough to excite the alternator. And it's working. So, the result is, if you want to check to see which one is faulty, the alternator or the regulator, disconnect the regulator, ground the green wire at the terminal connection, not at the regulator, pull the plug off, stick a jumper in there and ground that green wire, start the car, and you should get full voltage out of the alternator. And that's my lesson for today.